Oh, Jersey. We need a new windshield wiper. All right, so Danielle says we're going to go to his brother and his sister. Okay. Their father passed away last year. He was a shop teacher. I don't understand how you got the lead from Danielle. She used to call me. What the heck's up with that? I don't know, man. She likes me better. Dude, the building looks packed. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there. I'm Ryan. Hey, how you doing? Rob Wolf. Hey, I'm John. Talk Good to Danny Nice on the to phone. meet you, man. I did. So is this your dad's shop? Uh, it was my dad's shop and collection of random tractors and cars. And Daniel says he taught auto mechanics. He did. Yeah. Yep. In high for, school. For 31 yeah. years. Yep. Wow, fantastic. Yep. What, the foundry work she foundry said or something work. like that? Yeah. got a small foundry in the back there. I love that reproduce stuff, car yeah. parts. Yeah. And come on in, guys, and take a peek. I, we got... Awesome. Dang. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here. Whew. Yes. Dude, it, it looks like it. this building hasn't been touched in 50 years. <laughs> it's it's probably, a lot of stuff. It's been added to, but not went through. When my dad got into something, he learned everything that he could about. Everything about that topic. Whatever book he could read on something to just gain a little bit more knowledge. He wanted to be a perfectionist at it, but he liked to show it off at the same time. These things were like crazy in the 60s, man. Look at that thing. I have pictures of dad putting it together and- Did you ever ride it? Not in a very long time. You can't think 1960s California without the beach culture. The cars of the time were getting bogged down and stuck in the sand. California fun, fun man car. on the beach. Fun car. The big go-kart. Uh, oh, exactly. Right. In 1964, Bruce Myers developed the Myers Manx, the very first dune buggy that was a lightweight kit car that could take you anywhere. You ordered the body and put it on a car. And it's on a Volkswagen chassis, right? The whole thing's Volkswagen. It's all Volkswagen. 99% of these things were Volkswagens. That's what, you know, they, they designed right. them off that yeah, chassis. Yeah, I've seen them in movies like the Thomas Vol Crown Affair, Stephen Queen yes. riding around. Yes, yes, yes. Unfortunately, this isn't the Manx. This is the Imp that was made by a company called EMPI, and it was just a knockoff. It's still very cool and valuable if built well. Let me look at the bottom of this thing, dude. The actual pan on this thing is in great shape. You know, the VW pan? Yeah, not I mean, That's all they ever did was pop the body off and pop these things back on. I want to look at the motor on the back. Is Put that this, the canopy for it? I think this is probably part of the canopy, but I'm going to set it over here. Is it moving? It's got compression. It's moving. Look at that. U.S.A. Yeah, baby. Man. Look at 1970. That's the last time this thing was on the road. Probably. <laughs> wow. I always remember it as the dune buggy. When are we going to get the dune buggy out? It never came out of the barn that often, but we actually saw the pictures of him building that car. That was pretty special to be able to see him actually working on that car when he was pretty young. But before I sell anything like this, I'd like to talk to my sister about it. Oh I'm yeah, sure for sure, does. for sure. So now that we got the two of you together, we were looking at the VW earlier. I don't know if he told you. He did. Okay. Can we go revisit that you both are together now? We'll go revisit that? For sure. All right. I've been thinking about it all day. The front end of it, you know, 1960s. Yep. I know you're following me on that, aren't you, Jersey? Yeah, no, you're it's like, cool. You're like, I can see this I on see the Jersey it. Shore. Yep, absolutely, <laughs> yep. I just keep thinking over and over in my mind, your dad's a Model T, Model A guy, and he's got this <laughs> in here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think I remember hearing stories of him driving it home from college and coming, really? you know, coming home, <laughs> That's yeah. That's a great story. Yeah. <laughs> The big thing with these cars was, Minx was like the Cadillac of these. They were the first ones to bring these out. MP started after Minx. They actually produced like six different models. This is like their plain Jane. You can tell by the paint that's on it, it doesn't really have any character to it. Even if you shine it up, it's not gonna like sparkle. You know, if you put a wild paint job on this, you can yeah. see it yeah, standing out a little bit with more. A oh yeah. Psychedelic paint job on it. Yeah, you right, gotta yeah. remember this is the 60s, and 60s this is what same. they produced a green freaking, you know. Yep. So I still love it. I think this thing running down the road is probably like 8500 bucks. But it's gonna take some doing to get it there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still gonna have to do the tires, the brakes, tune up on it, gas tank, all these things. It's been sitting since 1970. This thing was put together right. I mean, that's a big plus to it. And, you know, after seeing your dad, the stuff that he built, I mean, I'm pretty positive this was built yeah. right. A lot of these were built by amateurs. Knowing that Ryan's dad built this one, I feel pretty confident it's rock solid. So Auto I got mechanics a mechanics teacher. Right. right. Yeah. So he did Perfect it right. Project. So yeah, that's, sure. you know, I'm a, that's a big plus. Yeah. So I'd like to be... I'd like to be at like 2,500 bucks. 
Do you think Gus would want this someday? Time goes by quick, so he could be driving this in no time. You know, one year <laughs> old, 16 years later, this would be yeah. a sweet car. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, with all the work and everything, it's, it's a big test to handle. What about three? It's a lot of, Honestly, lot of work here. I mean, with shipping and getting it home and... It's gonna be $1,000 to ship this thing back. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll come up, I'll come up 100 bucks, 2,600 bucks. I think that works. Yeah. That worked for you guys? That works. All right, thank cool. you, right. thank you, thank you. I'm looking thank forward you to getting this thing back on the yeah. road. Yeah. What yeah. do you think, Jersey? I think it's great, man. It's gonna I think be good, we, dude. I think, I think yeah. we'll get this thing running by the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.